Hi everyone, I am Dr. G. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. So in the present video, I would like to discuss the Vector Integral Theorems. So there are three theorems under this category. One is Gauss Divergence Theorem and Green's Theorem in a Plane. And other one is Stokes theorem. These theorems are very important in finding if the given information is related to volume and if you want to find out the surface integral, we can do by using this vector integral theorem. So these integral theorems are, are relation between line, surface and volume integrals. So just so we go the next slide. In this topic, we discuss the three important vector integral theorems, Gauss Divergence Theorem, Green's Theorem in a Plane and Stokes Theorem. So there are three theorems under this uh, vector integral theorems and these three are the relation between the line surface and volume integrals. So here the theorems deal with the conversion of the first one is integral f bar dot n bar ds into a volume integral where s is the closer surface. So this is the relation between the surface and the volume integral that is the first theorem Gauss divergence theorem. In the second one integral f bar dot dr bar over the closer curve c into a double integral over a region in a plane where c is the closer curve in the plane. So this is the Green's theorem. In a plane. Here, Sri is the closed curve in the given plane region. And the third one is integral over S del cross A bar dot N bar ds into a line integral around the boundary of an open two sided surface. So, these th three theorems are useful in finding the relation between volume, surface, and line integrals. So, now first we see the Gauss Divergence Theorem. What is the statement of the Gauss Divergence Theorem? This is, a trans this is the transformation between surface integral and volume integral. The statement is let S be a closed surface enclosing a volume V. If F bar is continuously differentiable vector point function defined on this region, then integral over V div F bar dV is equal to integral over S F bar dot N bar into ds. Let S be a closed surface. This is x axis, y axis, z axis and S be a the closed surface. This is the closed surface of volume V. The volume of this uh, region is equal to V. Then what is by Gauss divergence theorem is integral divergence of F bar dV is equal to integral f bar dot n bar ds. So here f bar is the vector point function which is defined on this region and div f bar is obtained by using del dot f bar. We know how to find div f bar is equal to del dot f bar where del is the differential operator i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z. And n cap in the second right hand side term we have integral f bar dot n bar into ds over the surface s. Here f bar is the given vector point function and n bar is the outward normal vector at any point of the surface s. So n cap is the outward normal vector to the surface then integral div f bar dv is equal to integral over the surface s f bar dot n bar into ds. So this is the relation between the volume and surface integrals. It is a transformation between surface and volume integrals. Here given region surface is s and the volume enclosed by this surface is v. Then we can have the formula that integral div f bar dv is equal to integral over s f bar dot n bar into ds. Now, we see some problems on verification of Gauss divergence theorem and computing the values of uh, uh, given f bar, div f bar, dv like that if the given information is surface. So, first problem is verification problem. Verify Gauss divergence theorem 
for the vector point function f bar is given as x cube minus y z i bar minus 2 x square y z bar plus z k bar. This is the vector point function given as f bar taken over the surface of the cube. So, the cube is the region is here is a surface of the cube bounded by the planes. This is x plane, x axis, y axis, z axis. This is x y plane. x y plane means z is equal to 0 and it is y z plane that is x is equal to 0 and this is x z plane, this is y is equal to 0. There are three planes and the planes bounded by x is equal to a, y is equal to, this is x is equal to a. Am I right? x is equal to 0 is this plane. This is x is equal to a. So, back side y is equal to 0. So, the front plane is y is equal to a. Similarly, top plane is z is equal to a and upper lower plane is z is equal to 0. So, these are the boundaries of the uh, given region of the surface. Now, we have to verify that. So, we have to verify Gauss divergence theorem means we have to verify that by Gauss divergence theorem we know that integral over v dy f bar dv is equal to integral over s f bar dot n bar ds where n bar is the unit outward normal vector. So, now how to find to verify this we consider LHS and then we consider RHS and we show that LHS is equal to RHS. Now, what is LHS? We have to calculate integral over V dy V f bar dv. Integral over V dy V f bar dv. So, what is dy V f bar? Dy V f bar means del dot f bar. So, del means i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z. The dot product with what is the dot product here, the vector point function f bar is x cube minus y z into i bar and second term minus 2 x square y j bar plus z k bar. So, on making dot product i bar dot i bar 1, so dou by dou x of this one that is 3 x square only plus j bar dot j bar 1 dou by dou y of this one minus 2 x square plus dou by dou z of z that is equal to 1. That means what it is x square plus 1. So, 3 x square minus 2 x square plus 1 of dx into dy into dz. Because it is the volume surrounded by the cube, so the values of x limit is 0 to a, y 0 to a, z also 0 to a. All the limits are constant limits. So, it is going through z 0 to a and z 0 to a, y 0 to a, x 0 to a. All the limits are constant limits and all are come from 0 to a. So, triple integral, integral 0 to a, integral 0 to a, integral 0 to a. The function x square plus 1 dx dy dz. So, now I can integrate the function with respect to x or with respect to y, with respect to z. That is your option because all the limits are constant limits. You can perform the integration according to your convenience. Now, in the next slide, I integrate the function first with respect to x. So, x square integration x cube by 3 plus 1 integration x between 0 and a dy dz and 0 to a, this is y limit, this is z limit. So, x limit is over. So, x limit finished. We have integrated the function with respect to x. So, then what is the upper limit? Replace x by a, that is a cube by 3 plus a dy dz y 0 to a y 0 to a z also 0 to a a cube by 3 plus a. So, I can write a cube by 3 plus a outside a cube by 3 plus a outside. So, you will get this is a complete constant term. Now, on integrating with respect to y integral dy is y between 0 and a the same limits. So, constant means in one constant y 0 to a dz. So, here also upper limit a lower limit 0 because it is constant you write as it is just to copy down in the next uh, um, step integral 0 to a, a cube by 3 plus a, this is a minus 0. So, then what a cube plus a by 3 plus a into a into 0 to a dz. So, again on integrating a power 4 by 3 plus a square, this is on multiplying integral 0 to a dz, integral dz is z between 0 and a, 
that is a power 4 by 3 plus a square into a that is a power 5 by 3 plus a cube. So this is the value of the LHS. So what is LHS? Integral dive f bar dv over the volume b. Integral dive f bar dive f bar dv over the volume b. That is the LHS. So this value we got as uh, a power 5 by 3 plus a cube and call this is equation number 1. Now we have to find integral, the right hand side part. What is f bar? I will write f bar here once again. On the x cube f bar. What is f bar? x cube minus y z of i bar minus 2x square y j bar 2x square y j bar plus the last term. What is the last term? z k bar I think plus z k bar right plus z k bar. So this is the function and to find RHS you need to evaluate the surface integral. Integral f bar dot n bar ds. It is the vector point function given as per the given problem and here we should consider the region of integration that is x y z and it is let us assume that it is a cube. So cube lying in So like this, so this is 0, O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So here I evaluate all the, this is the cube. So we have to evaluate all the, all the, uh, Six surfaces. There are six surfaces. So we have to evaluate uh, uh, along with the surface, all surface, all uh, planes. That is, one is uh, uh, C, B, C, D is one plane. So suppose if I calculate for for O, for B, C, D, for B, C, D, what is for B, C, D? The outward normal vector will be in the in the direction of z-axis. So, what is the outward normal vector n bar is equal to k bar because the outward normal vector is in the direction of positive z axis. So, n bar is equal to k bar. So, f bar dot n bar. What is f bar dot n bar? The given vector this dot product. So, x cube minus y z into i bar minus 2x square y z bar plus z k bar. So, dot product with k bar. So, this dot product with k bar. So, only you will get k bar coefficient remaining all are will be 0 i bar dot k bar 0 j bar dot k bar 0 k bar dot k bar 1. So, this is equal to z only. Now, integral along the curve b c d e here you can observe that here the what is the equation of this one? This is z is equal to a equation. So, this is z is equal to 0 x y plane means z is equal to 0. And this is at a distance a units from the origin. So, this plane is z is equal to a. So, here I am writing for the surface, the surface z is equal to a and dz is equal to 0. But here x and y both are variables it which varies from 0 to a. x varies from 0 to a and y also varies from 0 to a because it is a q. So, integral over b c d e f bar dot n bar d s is equal to integral f bar dot n bar into. So, if you consider the projection on x y plane, x y plane means what? dx into dy by magnitude of n bar dot k bar. That is the formula. Already you know that you, by evaluating the surface integral, we take ds as dx into dy by magnitude of n bar dot k bar. Because we consider the projection of this plane is on the x y plane. So, on x y plane z 0, uh, sorry, an xy plane. So, we have to take this d n bar dot k bar in the denominator. So, what is f bar dot n cap? That is equal to z already double integral dx dy by denominator n bar dot k bar k bar dot k bar that is equal to 1. So, what is n bar dot k bar? Already n bar is k bar. So, k bar dot k bar that is equal to 1. So, integral z dx dy. But what is z? z is equal to a. So, a 
dx dy between 0 to a, 0 to a. That is a into, so an integration first with respect to x, 0 to a integral dx means x dy. So that is a into integral 0 to a, upper limit a, lower limit 0, a dy. So the constant is a square again integral 0 to a dy. So a square into integral dy means y 0 to a. So a square into a that is equal to a cube. This is the integral value along the surface uh, c b c d b c d. Similarly, you can calculate for the surface o f g o o a, o a f g o a f g. Here the outward normal vector is in the direction of negative z. So in this case n bar is equal to minus k bar. So for the surface for O A F G, second surface, for first surface it is A Q. For the second surface, we need to calculate the outward normal vector that is n bar is equal to minus k bar. Then what is f bar dot n bar? F bar is this is dot k bar, this means it is minus z. So what is here the equation of x y plane or this O A F G plane z is equal to 0. So, dz also 0. So, what will be the integral here? We can, I am writing here double integral f bar dot n cap into dx into dy by magnitude of n bar dot k bar. Here, f bar dot n cap is equal to minus z and z is 0. So, the integral value 0 that is equation number 3. So, we, we reach two values integral f bar dot n bar ds over the cube, over the cube or over the surface cube is equal to, first value we got a cube, second value 0. We have to find for 6 faces. So, just we have calculated for the B, C, D, E plane and for O, A, F, G plane, O, A, F, G. Now, I would like to consider the, for the plane O, C, D, G for the plane OCDG. What is OCDG? The outward normal vector is in the direction of negative x-axis. OCDG. OCDG. The outward normal vector is in the direction of negative x-axis. So, n bar is equal to minus i bar. So, I will, I will show here. So, for the surface, for the surface, O C D G O C D G for the surface O C D G n bar is equal to minus i bar. The outward normal vector is minus i bar and f bar dot n bar. F bar dot n bar. What is f bar dot n bar? So this into this. That means what x cube minus y z into i bar that is x cube minus y z x cube minus y z with the minus sign or it is y z minus x cube am i right n bar is minus i bar and this is the value and here the plane equation the equation of o c d g is so this is y z plane y z plane means x is equal to 0 the equation of o c d g is x is equal to 0 and here, the equation of OCDG, this is the plane in z by y z plane, y z plane means x is equal to 0. So, but y and z varies from, but y 0, so that dx 0, but y and z varies from 0 to a. Therefore, integral along OCDG, OCDG, f bar dot n bar, so, on the plane dy dz by magnitude of n bar dot i bar is equal to integral, double integral, f bar dot n bar, this is yz minus x cube into dy into dz by magnitude of n bar means minus i bar dot i bar, minus i bar dot i bar. So, this is equal to here double integral x0. The equation of OCDG is x0. So, this term will 
be eliminated. So this is 0. So yz dy dz and in the denominator you will get a plus sign. This is modulus magnitude. So minus i bar dot i bar minus 1. Minus 1 means root of 1 square that is equal to plus 1. Now y varies from 0 to a. Z varies also from 0 to a. So what will be the value here? So on integrating first with respect to z, y z square by 2, 0 to a dy. So integral 0 to a, so I'll write here also, integral 0 to a. So on replacing z for a, a square by 2, y into dy. So a square by 2, I'm writing outside integral y dy is y square by 2 between 0 and a. That is a square by 2 into a square by 2. That is a power 4 by 4. Am I right? Integral yz dy dz. First on doing integration with respect to z. yz dz. That means z square by 2. z square by 2 means on replacing z for a. That is a square by 2. Lower limit 0. y is, const y is constant with respect to x. So on taking out a square by 2 outside. Integral 0 to a y dy. That means y square by 2 0 to a. That is a square by 2 a square by 2, all day a square by 2 is there. This is a power 4 by 4. So, this is the value of the uh, surface integral um, along the surface OC dg. Along the surface OC dg. Similarly, we can calculate for the surface for the surface. What is the other surface? I will go to the uh, e, B, E, F, E. A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F. So, here the outward normal vector is I bar because it is in the positive x axis. O, B, A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F. So, the outward normal vector N bar is equal to I bar and F bar dot N bar is equal to X cube minus Y z. So, there is no negative term here because it is the outward normal vector N bar is I bar. So, f bar dot n bar is equal to x cube minus y z. Now, double integ or integral along a, b, e, f, f bar dot n bar d s is equal to integral f bar dot n bar means x cube minus y z into. So, on, on writing it is dy into dz by magnitude of n bar dot i bar. So, here what is the equation of this one? This is x is equal to a. So, the equation of a, b, e, f, a, b, e, f is x is equal to a. This is x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. Already we substituted and we have evaluated in the first case. In the second case, we go for uh, putting x is equal to a. This is integral a cube minus y z and you take this is double integral y limit 0 to a, z also 0 to a, dy into dz. So, this is n bar dot i bar. n bar dot i bar is i bar dot i bar that is equal to 1. So, now the first integral a cube, a cube y 0 to a on integrating with respect to y first, a cube y minus y integration y square by 2 z between 0 and a of dz. I hope this is correct. A cube integration, A cube constant, integral dy is y limits to 0 to a minus with respect to y integration, y square by 2 into z between the limits 0 and a dz. So, now what are the values here? A cube into a that is a power 4 integral 0 to a, a power 4 minus replace Replace y by a. y by a means a square by 2 into z and lower limit both values are 0 of dz. The normal integration there is nothing other than that. Now integrate with respect to z. a, a power 4 into z and this is a square by 2 into z square by 2 between 0 and a. So on simplifying a power 5 minus a square by 2 into z on instead of z replace a a square by 2 that is a power 5 minus a power 4 by 4 
that is one evaluation integral. This called equation number two three. This is four. This is five. I think a power five minus a power four by four. So this is the uh, integration along the surface a b e f. Already we have calculated O C D G also. So these two are the parallel surfaces. And already two surfaces. See, so what I can write here is uh, in the pre previous slide, first a cube, first value, and zero is the second value. And what is the third value? Third value a power four by four. That also you will enter here. A power four by four. And what is the previous value? A power five by a power five minus a power four by four. A plus a power five minus a power four by four. So up to this, how many we received? One, two, three, four. So integral over s f bar dot n bar into ds can be calculated along the cube by six surfaces. So z parallel to oh, sorry parallel to x y plane and parallel to x y plane already evaluated, and y z plane and parallel to y z plane both are evaluated. And uh, one more thing here is uh, parallel to uh, Ah, uh, sorry. X Z Y is equal zero plane. Y is equal zero plane. Z or Z X plane. Now we need to consider O A B C. We need to consider O A B C. What is O A B C? Uh, the equation of O A B C is now. I will write here uh, O A B C. Now consider O A B C. Consider O A B C. So the O A B C means it is the equation of O A B C is, and this is x z plane y z equal to zero, and d y is equal to zero. This is x z plane. X z plane means this is this is O A B C. The plane equation y is equal to zero, so d y is equal to zero. Now the outward normal vector of this uh, face is uh, parallel, sorry, opposite to um, j axis, so y axis. That means minus j bar. So I write it here. So here the equation of this one is, and n bar is equal to minus j bar, and f bar dot n bar. F bar dot n bar. What you will get? F bar dot n bar is minus two x square y into minus one. Two x square y. Two x square y, remaining all zeros, remaining all zeros, and here x varies from zero to a. Here x is a, x varies from zero to a, and z also varies from zero to a. Here y is a value zero. Therefore, integral f bar dot n bar ds along O A B C is equal to Double integral, two x square y, and d yes, but because y zero, y zero the entire term zero it is equal to zero, so that is the uh, evaluation of the surface integral along O A B C, and the last one case number six, case six, case six I will study. So for the face, what is the face to be considered? So almost all we are. So this is E D G F E D G F E D G F for the face E D G F. What is E D G F? I will explain here. E D G F. This is the front plane, and clearly the equation of this is y is equal to y is equal to e. This is y is equal to zero because let's explain y is equal to zero. And it is at a distance a units from the plane y is equal to zero, so it is y is equal to a. And here y is equal to a means d y zero. But here x and z are varies from zero to a. So for the face e d g f, the equation y is equal to a, so d y is equal to zero. But here x comma z are varies from Zero to e. Therefore, integral along e d g f 
f bar dot n bar ds is equal to integral. So, what is f bar dot n bar? What is f bar dot n bar? Here, n bar is the outward normal vector to the positive side that is minus j bar. n bar is equal to and j bar. In the previous case, it is in the negative side direction of uh, y axis. It is positive direction of j bar. So, this will be 2x square y will get minus 2x square y f bar dot n bar. So, f bar means um, the i bar j bar k bar coefficient only j bar means uh, this is a minus 2x square y into 1. So, minus 2x square y I will write here minus 2x square y into in yz plane in zx plane it is dx into dz by magnitude of n bar dot j bar. So, this is equal to here x is 0 to a and z also 0 to a and y is equal to a. y is equal to a means minus 2a into x square into dx into dz by magnitude of n bar dot j bar that is equal to 1. So, minus 2a constant on integrating with respect to x first x square integration x cube by 3 0 to a dz. So, minus 2a into so, a cube by 3 and substituting their limit x for a a cube by 3 you can write a cube by 3 outside integral 0 to a dz. So, this is minus 2a power 4 by 3 into integral dz z between 0 and a. Am I right? Minus 2a power 4 by 3 that is finally minus 2a power 4 by 3 into a minus 0 or minus 2a power 5 by 3. So, I will write here 0 plus 0 plus minus 2a power 5 by 3. So, what you will get here? Uh, these two gets cancelled. a power 4 by 4, a power 4 by 4 and adding all these values and a cube, you will get a cube. So, I will see once again here a cube and uh, 2a power 5 and this value 3a power 5 that is a power 5 by 3. a power 5 minus a power 5 minus 2a power 5 by 3 that is 3a power 5 minus 2a power 5 that is a power 5 by 3 that is the second term this is called the equation number 6 or 7 like that. So, this is the integral therefore, here you can see that this is a power 5 by 3 this is also a power 5 by 3 here this is a cube here also this is a cube. So, uh, according to Gauss divergence theorem, according to therefore, uh, the equations uh, 1 and 7 both are same because a power 5 by 3 plus a cube is equal to a power 5 by 3 plus a cube. The LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, the theorem, what theorem? Gauss divergence theorem verified. So, that is the problem. So, here we are going to show that. Uh, surface integral evaluation volume integral. In the first case we have evaluated, in the second case we have evaluated surface integral. So, volume integral just to because, just because just to dive f bar means it is simple value. We will just on using the all our constant limits on integrating you get directly. But here you have to consider all the uh, faces in the given surface that is a clearly it is a cube, it is a six faces. So, on considering all faces you get that is uh, 1 plus 1. Here I, I wrote just uh, once again I will show you. So, here 1 sur first surface, second surface, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, up to this we have calculated. So, for uh, two surfaces it, these are zeros and for the remaining surfaces you got the values and on simplifying you will get a power 3 plus a power 5 by 3 that is the required uh, RHS value. So, I hope this problem is uh, uh, clear for all of you. This is, is cubic, cube along cube means you have to consider all the surfaces. Now, I will compute another problem integral ax square plus by square plus cz square ds over the surface of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1. So, this is the clearly uh, previous problem is verification problem of Gauss divergence theorem. This is the application problem of Gauss divergence theorem. 
so we have to find uh, the integral f bar dot n bar into ds value uh, by using uh, the volume integral what is the by gauss divergence theorem what is our theorem by gauss divergence theorem integral f bar dot n bar ds over s is equal to integral div f bar dv over the over the region v so here given what is given f bar dot n bar is given the value here what is given f bar dot n bar is given as ax square plus by square plus cz square where n bar is the unit outward normal vector to the surface outward normal vector to the surface n bar is the outward normal vector to the surface unit outward normal vector to the surface so what is the surface here given phi is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 the phi is the surface then grad phi is equal to i bar dou by dou x plus z bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z of what is the surface x square plus y square plus z square minus 1. So what you will get i bar into 2x plus j bar into 2y plus k bar into 2z. What this is? n bar. So now unit outward normal vector that is n bar is equal to grad phi by magnitude of grad phi that is 2x i bar plus 2y j bar plus 2z k bar by square root of 4x square plus 4y square plus 4z square. So on taking out 2, we will get xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar by, so on taking out 4 root root of 2x square, that is equal to, so this is xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar, this is n cap, unit outward normal vector to the surface. n bar is xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar. Here n bar is equal. n bar is the unit outward normal vector. Here given from the given information we calculate n bar is equal to xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar. Now our, our part is to find the f bar value. But now f bar dot n bar is equal to what is given? ax square plus by square plus cz square. Our aim is to calculate the f bar dot n bar. So this is some f bar dot what is n bar? x i bar plus y j bar plus z k bar. That means what therefore what is f bar? Here you can consider a x i bar. Am I right? a x i bar plus y means b y j bar plus c z k bar. So on making dot product we will get the required answer. So from the above step, I am guessing f bar is equal to ax i bar plus b y j bar plus c z k bar. Then what is f bar dot uh, n bar? ax into x, ax square, first term, okay. j bar dot j bar 1, b y into y, b y square, plus c z into z, c z square. So f bar we have reached. So then by divergence theorem, by Gauss divergence theorem, integral dive we have, sorry, Integral f bar dot n bar ds is equal to integral over v div f bar dv. Div f bar dv. Now, now what is the now div f bar? Div f bar means del dot f bar. Del dot f bar means i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z of dot product with x by x a x i bar plus b y j bar plus c z k bar or you can write it as a plus dou by dou x of a x a plus b plus c therefore integral div f bar dv is equal to triple integral div f bar is a plus b plus c that is b x into d y into d z so what is the dx into dy into dz, it is the volume of the sphere. Volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi a cube 
So here A is 1, I think. The radius of the given, I will show this, uh, the radius of this one is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1 means the 4 by 3 pi r square, 4 by 3 pi r is equal to 1. So 4 by 3 pi is the volume into a plus b plus c. This is the required solution. 4 by 3 pi into a plus b plus c. Because it is the volume of this sphere. So sphere volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube means radius 1 here. So 4 by 3 pi already it is there a plus b plus c and multiplying this is 4 by 3 into pi into a plus b plus c. This is the integral div f bar dv value. Here s limits is not there. So that is why I have taken it as a volume and based on the volume limits we have calculated the value of the surface integral. Therefore f bar dot n bar into ds value is equal to integral div f bar dv. Div f bar is equal to what is div f bar with each? Div f bar is a plus b plus c and substitute an integral over the volume v, volume of the sphere that is 4 by 3 pi. So that value will be given 4 by 3 pi into a plus b plus c. That is the required solution of the problem. So in this way we can have the two types of problems in uh, gauss divergence theorem. One is verification problem and the other one is the computing using uh, double integral. If double integral is given, you have to find the volume integral. If volume integral is given, you have to find the surface integral. So computation by uh, the application of gauss divergence also theorem can also be possible. So these are the two types of application in gauss divergence theorem. So in the next class, we will do some more problems on gauss divergence theorem. And for this uh, video, thank you for it now. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.